as network utility was deprecated in macOS 11. In this video, we're going to take a look at a terminal command that will allow us to see the route that our data has taken in order to reach a server on the internet. After opening a new terminal session, if we type trace root m10 and then the domain name of our web server, when we press enter on our keyboard, we are presented with a report that lists the routers that the trace root command used to reach our server. Each entry in this list is referred to as a hop. So because we used the dash m10 variable, we limited the number of hops being displayed to no more than 10. As each entry in the report also provides us with the amount of time it took for each hop to reach a router, trace route can be a handy tool for troubleshooting network traffic. Finally, it's worth noting that if a hop returns a series of asterisks, that indicates that our request has timed out. This could be because the hop did not detect a router or the router is protected by a firewall. To gracefully close the terminal, if at the command prompt we type exit, when we press enter on the keyboard, the terminal session will end.